Hello everyone, welcome to the Chem channel. This is Xu Hang. In many of our previous tutorial videos, we have introduced ways to interpret the charge storage mechanisms based on the electrochemical characterizations. Today, I would like to show you a practical example about the sodium ion storage in hot carbons. This video is made based on two papers. A review article written by Di Chen published very recently on the energy environment sciences and a research paper from A. Yamada's group published on advanced energy material in 2020. Links to these two papers are also offered in the description of the video below. Benefiting from the cost-effectiveness and excellent electrochemical comprehensive performance, Carbon-based material exhibits prospective potential for the industrial applications. Among all carbon materials, hot carbon is regarded as the most mature and currently the only material likely to be commercialized for the anode of the sodium ion battery. Hot carbon is a disordered carbonaceous compound and an attractive anode material for the sodium ion battery because of its large reversible capacity at low operating voltage, as well as its good cycling stability. Hard carbon is an amorphous carbon material without an exact crystal model, making it difficult to investigate the physical chemical changes during the sodiation and dissodiation process. For these reasons, different sodium storage models have been proposed in recent years. The model can be summarized into three categories, the capacitive absorption, nanopore filling, and insertion in carbon interlayers. Let's first take a look at the CV of high carbon-based lithium ion battery and sodium ion battery. The CV of the sodium ion battery exhibit different charge and discharge curve from the lithium ion battery. A typical charge and discharge curve of the hot carbon-based sodium ion battery can be divided into two parts. The first part, a slope region at high potential about 0.1 to 2.5 volt versus sodium, sodium plus. So this sloping region of the charge discharge curve corresponds to capacitive absorption. The second stage is a plateau at low potential, usually about 0 to 0 0.1 volt versus sodium, sodium plus. This plateau contributes large capacity at low potentials, making hot carbon a promising anode for sodium ion battery. So it is interesting to understand the dominating charge mechanism of this plateau region. The sodium storage mechanism in the low voltage plateau region remains inconclusive. And in recent years, many researches have been done to understand the process. The question is that the process should be nanopore filling or sodium ion insertion in carbon interlayers. The ex situ XRD showed the expansion of this spacing when the carbon was discharged from 0.1 to 0 at the plateau region. This indicates the insertion mechanism. The in situ XRD experiments on the carboso rich and carboso free ca carbon both show the changes of the interlayer space during sodiation process. The difference is that the intercalation of the sodium takes place in a narrower potential region in haboso-free high carbon than that in the carboso-rich one. However, many other evidence does not support the ion insertion mechanism. For example, here, the ex situ Raman study shows that there is no shift of the G-band peak during the discharging process. If sodium ion intercalation really takes place, the position of the Raman peak should shift. In 2020, A. Yamada's group performed a detailed study of the sodiation process by combining ex situ small and wide-angle X-ray gathering technologies. They prepared a series of hot carbon samples via hydrothermal treatment of sucrose and subsequently high temperature carbonization. Governostatic charge discharge curve of the hot carbon shows that the discharge time for the slope region becomes shorter as the carbonization temperature increases, meaning the capacity contributed by the capacitive mechanism becomes smaller. 
On the other hand, the discharge time for the plateau region does not show monotonous correlation to the carbonization temperature. Among all the samples, the hot carbon carbonized at 1400 degrees C shows the highest discharge capacity and the best columbic efficiency at first cycle. In order to understand the process, the ex situ wide angle X ray scattering was performed. The internal space change can be observed on ex situ wide angle X ray scattering, the VAX pattern. The broad peak at Q equal to 1.6 to 1.8 corresponds to the atomic correlation relating to the graphene graphene interlayer distance. Average interlayer space upon solidation can be derived from the deconvolution analysis of the VAX pattern. Upon solidation of high carbon up to the percentage of 50% to 80%, the interlayer space continuously expanded. Expansion amplitudes tend to be significantly smaller as the carbonization temperatures increases. Especially the hot carbon carbonized at 1900 degrees C showed a remarkably smaller expansion compared to the other two samples, implying that the sodium atoms were not intercalated into most of the interlayers of the hot carbon 1900. There might be a threshold to allow the sodium intercalation, and the hot carbon carbonized at 1900 has a small initial interlayer spacing of only 3.54 Armstrong. Many experiment results also support that hot carbons with interlayer space smaller than 3.6 Armstrong show no interlayer space expansion even after full sodiation. Interestingly, a new broad peak appear at Q equal to 2.0 to 2.1 in all of the hot carbon samples when sodium ion insertion percentage exceeding the 50%. And this peak become more pronounced upon further sodiation. To understand this new peak appeared on the wax pattern, the intensity of the wax peak was compared with the relative scattering intensity obtained from the small angle X-ray scattering. The relative scattering intensity from the nanopore eye pore observed by the sucks always shows opposite intensity change to the wax intensity. Such result indicates that the origin of the new signal in the wax profile is the atomic correlation of the sodium in the nanopores. It means that there is a presence of the dense sodium assemblies in the nanopores. Thus, the authors suggested that the plateau capacity is contributed by both sodium ion intercalation and the nanopore filling mechanism. The capacity ascribed to sodium filling into the nanopores does not show monotonic variations with the heating temperature. A maximum is achieved in hot carbon heated at 1400 degrees C. The more sodium filling mechanism may explain well its highest capacity among all samples. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The video in our ECAM channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channels. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.